Hi, this is Jeff from the Pro Web Design and Business Network. Going to show you quickly today some very easy ways to clear more space on your hard drive in your PC. Let's take a look. Now before we begin, I'd kindly ask you to like or subscribe to our channel and I have my desktop in front of me where we're going to show you the steps that are necessary to clear all the space you need on your hard drive ASAP. So I'm going to open my browser in Google Docs and we're going to see a quick list of everything we're going to cover today to uh, delete as much space as possible in the least amount of time. Zooming in, here's everything we're going to cover today. One, clear your desktop and empty everything you can in your trash can. Two, delete all your downloads in the This PC window. Three, do a disk cleanup on your PC. Four, uninstall any apps or programs you don't need. Five, search your hard drives and check the available space left, along with what files are taking up the most space that you can delete. Six, open File Explorer and check the full drop-down menu for any files you can delete. Seven, turn off hibernation mode on your PC. Eight, clear your PC browser cache. And nine, use an external flash disk, hard drive, web hosting, or cloud storage. Now, starting with the first one, this should be easy, but a lot of the time it's something that gets uh, overlooked, which is a little mind-boggling to me. So anyway, you wanna check what's on your desktop, and if there's any files you're not using, taking up space, you're gonna highlight them all, and you're gonna drag them over to your recycle bin. And hopefully I can do that. Let's give it another try. And once you're there, all you need to do is uh, right-click on the trash can and click Empty Recycle Bin. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to permanently delete all of these items? Make sure that's actually the case. But if so, you're going to click yes and mission accomplished. So step number two is one of the biggest. And uh, this is, if anything, where a lot of your uh, C drive is going to be taking up space. And some people do know this. A lot of people do not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this PC in the taskbar here. I'm going to pull up the app. And then opening up the window, you'll see on the left-hand side, there is a bunch of uh, drop-down options. You want to click on the downloads options with the blue arrow here. And uh, I deleted these uh, earlier today, so I still have one file left, which is in use. And I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to click on the properties tab and just show you how much space this one file alone is taking. This is just a regular video file and it takes up 118 megabytes alone. So by deleting all of this, you're going to clear up a lot of space really quickly. And this is something you should be watching constantly just to make sure your uh, C drive, your D drive or whatever doesn't add up. So I'm not going to delete it today. All you do is highlight everything, click delete and it'll be finished. The next one, number three, is to do a disk cleanup on your PC. So to do that, you'll go to the taskbar as well, and you can just put in as simple as that, disk cleanup. You're going to click on the app as it pops up. So it's going to ask you which drive you want to use. So I have two drives in this case. You may have one, you may have three. It depends on you, but I'm going to click on the uh, D drive for now, and then I'm going to press OK. So then it's going to give you another pop-up option of everything you can clear. So I've cleared this already because I did it earlier this morning, but uh, same thing. You're going to click on all the options you want to click and then you're going to press OK. Uh, once you press OK, it's going to give you the option, do you permanently want to delete these files, same as the trash can? You're going to say yes. You're going to click delete files and you'll be done from there. Uh, as mentioned, I've done this already. For you, this could take a little while. It could take a couple minutes. could take up to 10, 15 minutes. It depends on your system, but once you click uh, delete files it's all complete so on to step number four and this is another big one and that's uninstalling any apps or programs you may have on your uh, C drive so most people realize they have to do this but aren't always sure where to go so all you need to do is uh, check out the taskbar again and I'm gonna type in uninstall where it says search so make sure you type this uh, correctly in terms of the spelling. But um, even when I put in a UN, something shows up already. So what we're looking for is this uh, gear icon and it says add or remove programs. And this will pull up a menu of all the programs you have currently installed on your uh, C drive, D drive, or whatever drive you're using. So you want to go through all of these. You want to check on the right which programs are using the most space. And if you're no longer using them, you can click on that and it's going to give you the option to uninstall. So before you uninstall, make sure you want to get rid of this program completely because you can't just bring it back again once it's gone. But uh, if you want to uninstall, you do that. And this is going to clear up a lot of space for any programs you don't need.
Step number five is checking your hard drive or hard drives and seeing if there's anything there taking up space. So you can do the same thing we've done before and you can just click uh, my PC, this PC, um, I'll put this PC in this case and I'm going to click the uh, app and bring it up. And then from there you're going to see your hard drive. So there's the C drive, the D drive, and you can see with the little blue bar how much space is being taken up. Obviously I got a lot of space on both, but uh, I'm going to just click in one here. And you're going to go through all your various files, and I have tons because I work as a web developer, but uh, you can check on any folder, you can right click on it, uh, and in properties it's going to show you how much space it's taking up. So in this case it's taking up 5.3 gigs, which is quite a lot of space, so uh, you really want to check all your files and see which ones are taking up more space than others because it may surprise you. So in that case you're just going to delete any files you no longer need and make sure once you delete them they'll go to your recycle bin to uh, delete those as well in the recycle bin. In Step number one. Step six, you're going to open the file explorer and check everything in the drop down menu to see if there's anything that got downloaded or is currently saved there that you might have missed. So obviously there's the downloads folder which we looked at already but you can go into the other folders too and there could be things there from time to time which is more than you think. Uh, obviously it shows your desktop, your documents and other things that could be available so you definitely want to go through all these as well because there can be some hidden files here and this could be something that's taking up the space more than you think. So investigate every option uh, from top to bottom and uh, see if there's anything you can delete. Step number seven is to turn off hibernate mode on your PC. So that's when your monitor goes to sleep when you haven't used it for an extended period of time. So you'll get that darker screen. You may get a screensaver of some sort. Either way, it's pretty easy to turn off actually. So you'll just go to your uh, taskbar here again and we're going to punch in hibernate. So that'll pull up the power and sleep settings. You're going to click on that and a new pop-up window will appear. So here you can see what your uh, current settings are at. For me it's at uh, 45 minutes so you can open up the drop down menu and see what the options are. You can click never on that uh, for screen here and then when you go to sleep as well you can do the same thing. You can see all your options and then you can click never as well. Um, you don't have to save the minute you do that it updates automatically uh, on your system. Um, I'm going to set it back just for fun here because I don't need it at the moment. But another great way to save some resources. Step number eight is clearing your PC browser cache and that can take on a lot of different meanings and I'm just going to show you a few quick ones here today. Uh, there's so many you can do that I'm going to cover them in a different tutorial later, another good reason to subscribe, but for now I'll show you just a few quick ones. So we're going to go down to here and I'm going to put in the command prompt in the taskbar here. It's going to pull up the black screen with the blinking cursor. All I'm going to put in here is the command IP config going to have a space backslash and then I'm going to put flush DNS. Now that's going to flush all the DNS settings on your system so if your browser has some uh, less than up-to-date information that's going to clear everything and it may make your PC a little faster as well. I'm also going to show you quickly how to clear your cache in Chrome as well. Um, I actually do have a video where I show you how to clear all four of the different browsers so definitely check that out at a different time. But for now uh, this is where I had my Google Docs open. All you need to do to clear your browser is go up to the three dots here. I'm going to go to history and then I'm going to click history again on the left hand tab. Now from here it'll show you all your recent history and everything you're looking at. So all you need to do is go to the left hand side here, click on clear browsing data with the trash can. And then it's going to ask you if you want to delete everything. That can be within the last 24 hours, that can be all time. Obviously the more you delete, the more files you clear. It clears up some space, it's going to make your PC a little faster as well, like you did with the DNS flush. So press clear data, the blue button when you're ready, and it should help you out. So the last step, number nine, doesn't involve any PC troubleshooting of any kind, uh, and that's using an external device to uh, save any files. So that could be a flash drive, an external hard drive, something like that. So just doing a quick Amazon search I'll show you what uh, a few of the options are as well. So uh, if you just put in a thumb drive, uh, flash drive, something like that, I'll put in a flash drive for now. And you'll have various options, you know, 256 gigs, which is huge, one terabyte, which is really huge. I'm just going to click on the smaller one. And then you'll see your various options here in the price range. So you can get a really good one for $60. You see some for $27. So the price range is very reasonable. So having one or two of these handy on hand makes a lot of sense and is a very good idea.
You can also check for an external hard drive as well, and that gives you even more uh, power and uh, resources. So I'm just going to put that in here and see what's available. So we type in external hard drive, and obviously the storage space goes up from there. You know, 4 terabytes, which is massive, 10 terabytes. So let's take a look and see what's available. And even when you do a search here, you know, pretty reasonable for what you get. So, you know, the average one goes for about $130, $150, you know, obviously it goes up. But even for $200 with this kind of space, that's like a, you know, second hard drive. And essentially that's what it is. So you definitely want to see what your options are here. Definitely have a, you know, a thumb drive, an external hard drive. Have a couple for a rainy day and it always pays off. So if you don't want to damage a device of any kind or you're worried about losing it or something like that, which is a valid concern, you can definitely get something like cloud storage where it'll save everything online on external servers and not yours. So you won't be using any of the resources. So even if we just Google something like, um, let's just say Google cloud storage. So you'll see the Google cloud platform here. Now basically all this is is a hard drive, but it's just not on your computer, it's on their servers instead. So everything's safe um, at all times you can access it, but you don't have to worry about your you know, computer crashing, breaking down or anything like that. So you can try out the storage for free. And uh, if you like it, if it comes in handy, uh, definitely buy it because it's uh, certainly worth it. And if you have web hosting of any kind, uh, say you have a website for your business or something like that, uh, the extra space there, you can actually store your files as well. It doesn't just have to be for the website. It could be for anything. So I'm just going to put in exact hosting which is where I currently um, have a lot of my websites here. So once you buy a package, you know, a certain file space is going to be used for the website itself. But you can also use this as an online storage drive similar to Google Cloud as well. So most website files don't take up a crazy amount of space. So you still have this extra hard space or hard drive space waiting for you at any time if you so want to use it. So if you have a website through, you know, Wix, through GoDaddy, through almost anything, as long as you have access to the file manager, you can upload that and use any extra space you have as another uh, storage hard drive. Now going back to our Google Docs, you'll see now that all nine steps have been effectively complete. Obviously there's more you can do, but these are the quickest and easiest and they should make your life a little bit easier going forward. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if so, please like, subscribe or share and be on the lookout for more uh, tech videos coming very soon. Thanks for watching.